Hi kitty cats. Um, so today I'm doing a mask for Mask Monday. I haven't done a Mask Monday in a while. We're going to do this donkey milk skin gel mask that I've been afraid of for a while. I don't remember where I got it. I'm not sure if someone sent it to me or what. I or if I, sometimes I'll get like those little Ipsy collections of skincare that have masks in it. But this also may have come from somebody else. I don't know. I can't remember. But wow, this is a tough one to get open. Like usually they just rip right open. Jeez. Yeah, that one took me a minute. I take my glasses off so I can get this on. How's everybody doing? Are you happy Halloween is over or are you sad Halloween is over? I'm always a little sad. Even though I, I like November too, I'm always a little sad to see Halloween be gone. I'm probably doing this wrong because I didn't read the directions or whatever, but as long as it gets on my face, right? That's what's important. Um... Okay, there's like bubbles on it. Weird. Okay. Okay. It fits pretty good. Um. It's really sudsy. It's juicy, but it's like weird. It's very um soapy feeling. If you can understand that. Instead of like a lotion-y type feeling or just a serum feeling, it feels very soapy. As donkey milk salmon egg extract. Put on for 15 to 20 minutes. It is a skin gel mask. Hmm. So, we'll see. You know, 15, 20 minutes and remove mask. And take remaining essence and patent the skin. Use in daytime. Apply sun protection after use. Well, I'm not going anywhere today that I know of. So, I'm good. Um. Yeah. So, there we are. Okay, so what shall we talk about today? Um, like I said, I'm a, little, I'm a little sad that Halloween's over because I didn't really... Oh, sorry, it's my notification. Um, I For November, I change my notifications all the time. Um, yeah, like I didn't really do everything I wanted to do this October. I didn't decorate the inside of my house really so um and uh yeah i think somebody stole our outdoor decoration we had this like blow up cat thing and i don't see it unless john took it down and put it somewhere already which is possible but i'm just kind of like what happened to it because he didn't take down the ghost it's still up so Kind of like he may have just done it and then been like, I don't feel like taking down the ghost because the ghost is up high, whereas the cat was just sitting there. I don't know. Because I don't know where he, like, I really don't. So I'm waiting till he comes home to find out if it was stolen or if, which, wow, it would take a lot of balls to steal that because you would have to walk up all these stairs, then go onto my porch and unplug it and take it you know like i could have seen i mean you're taking a chance of getting seen because my daughter's window is like right near there and there's no curtains up yet and she doesn't even have a curtain up on her room right now so like yeah that that was kind of chancy like somebody did it like whoa that's some balls um we don't usually have people steal stuff right off her porch um, we've only, that's happened once before, 
right from the porch was a package and I think they saw what the package was and wanted, you know, wanted it because the, you know, some companies like right from the outside of the package, you could see what it is, um, what company it came from. And it was, uh, um, one of my daughters, uh, what were they? The subscription box I used to get you every month. Loot Crate. Loot Crate. It was a Loot Crate box um, that somebody took. And the funny thing is they took it and they like opened it and like left some of the stuff on the hill and some of it they didn't. Like it was found like days later. But by that time I'd already talked to Loot Crate and they said they would send a brand new one which was awesome. And they did. So she... Shout out to Got Crate. stuff. Yeah. Loot Crate is actually a really great company. They had really great customer service. I highly would recommend, you know, if you like geeky stuff, they have several different kinds of subscriptions with geeky stuff. Just ignore my cat. We have crazy cats. She, she's just knocking stuff over, trying to get things she doesn't need to get to. Wow, I picked a great time to start this, didn't I? Uh, somebody offering me a ride to my doctor's on Thursday. Um, that's awesome. So that's taken care of. So I was... Usually I'm not able to get, find rides to places. So that's awesome. It's one of my friends is going to be able to take me. Um, she works at night, so I guess that, yeah. So, I know, I'm like chatting with somebody about my appointment. Yeah, it's for my surgery. I'm seeing a surgeon Thursday to talk to him. And let's hope that this guy is, is cool and is going to set me up and not be, like, nasty to me or weird. I don't think so, because... Um, I know the other two surgeons in that office are very, very nice, so I'm not expecting for to have, like, a jerk surgeon. <laughs> They're all, like, seem to be pretty nice. I have not, I just haven't met with this one yet. Um, they're like, well, why isn't the other ones doing it? Well, one, it was because they were so booked. And the other, I, I've seen him for other things, but not my gallbladder surgery and he thought when I did he did ask me once about the gallbladder surgery and I was like oh I'm going up to you know uh, Dartmouth Hitchcock which is another hospital and he was like oh okay so um so we were we were hoping though that this particular surgeon is new here and so he doesn't have a lot like he doesn't have a lot of things booked yet so I might be able to get in quicker and I'm hoping before Thanksgiving <laughs> I really want to take that care of yeah. that's awesome thank you so much so yay I have a ride to see the surgeon Thursday it's exciting <laughs> I just, I'm so hoping that he's just going to be like, yeah, I can put you in for next week. Because, <laughs> I mean, we've been trying to get this surgery for a while. I really want to get it out so I can eat like a normal person again. Not that I have discussed with um, John, you know, my boyfriend, about the fact that I do think... Um, I'm going to be changing, like, I am going to be changing a few eating habits just because I was just like, wow, this stuff's really good. And sorry, <laughs> keeps going off. Um, and, uh, but I just want to be able to eat what I like when I like, you know, and I can't really do that right now. So, um, I, you know, if I want to have some brie one night I can't do that or even have like a cup of ice cream like it's just not even like you know it, it's just yeah but I'm not a diet person either I just thought I might change a few things in my life when it comes to like what I'm eating and stuff 
as you know, I don't like to talk about weight loss and thing and diet because I want my channel to be about being body positive no matter what size you're at. And I think it's really important that we accept and appreciate our bodies no matter where they're at. Now that doesn't mean that you can't go lose weight if that's what you want to do, but I just don't want to put that out there. Um, because I know that sometimes when people are like diet, 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 it, and you know, talk about how great they are because they lost weight, it makes people feel sometimes like they're not good enough. It makes people feel insecure and you shouldn't feel insecure. I don't want anybody to feel that way. So if you are a big person, you are beautiful. If you're a skinny person, you're beautiful. We're all beautiful. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm very big on the, uh, what would you call it? I don't know. I can't think of the word right now. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to move on to a different subject. So yeah, surgery might be happening soon. Just cross all your fingers for me or light a candle or something. <laughs> Because I really need this. I think most of you know that. This has been going on. I have been to the ER many times since like the end of June. And I want I want my life back. So um, it would be nice. So we'll see what happens. Plus I can't take my uh, infusion medication for my psoriatic arthritis. Until you know this is over and done with. Like, has to be like a certain amount of weeks after the surgery or something that they'll even do it. And I got a feeling um, my rheumatologist is probably going to want to see me before I go back on the medication. So it's probably going to be a while before I get the infusion drug again too. And then I have to find somebody who's willing to go to, to like, it's like... 30 minutes away it's not that bad but the thing is is I'll be there for like three hours at least maybe more um depending on the day because sometimes they don't get to me right away and they have to you know like put in an IV to give me the infusion drug and um and then you get like whoever takes me can sit there with me for like those hours watching what television <laughs> Because they have little TVs. It's really nice, actually. Um, you get a recliner. They have pillows and blankets and stuff. And you get a little TV. They have a little area um, where there's soda and juice and Gatorade and um, bottled water. And uh, they have crackers. That was the only thing. They're like, we have snacks. I don't consider like crackers snacks unless you they're like I don't know it's basically just saltines or graham crackers <laughs> like those aren't snacks um like I don't even think they have pudding like I was like you think a hospital would have pudding but whatever um but they do have a nice and they have coffee and tea so I mean it's a nice little thing um and Sometimes it's a little sad, like, most of the people that are going in there are cancer patients, and I don't know, last time I was there, my heart was a little, like, oh, because there was this really, this woman couldn't even walk. They had to, like, they had her in a wheelchair, and she was, like, practically propped up. I mean, it was just, and then they had to carry her from the wheelchair to the recliner and set her all up there. And I just, I really, you know, I didn't because I was like, you can't cry, Joanne, because that will just make the people that are there with her feel worse. Because she had two people there that I suspect probably her husband and son. Um, it was just sad. It was just like, oh my goodness, this woman is so feeble. And they're giving her chemo, you know, like just made me super sad like you should appreciate you know life be that you have because it's over pretty quickly so grab a hold of what you can 
I know I can't wait to like have the infusion drug again so that I can like bend my knees without pain and even my my tailbone hurts when I get up now and when I sit down both so and then everything else hurts too I just want that pain to go away so that I can just do things you know so we're 15 minutes here so another five minutes and uh, I'll take it off. I'm going to do the full 20 minutes. So yeah, the, you hear the jingling? Those are the cats running around doing their thing with their little bell collars. Selena, um, which is our big fat black cat, <laughs> she keeps losing her collars. And I'm just like, girl, I'm just going to keep getting you another one. Like, you lose one, I'm going to get a new one the next month. So, like... Or the next week or whenever I just put it on my Chewy subscription and it's like this time she's gonna get like a glow in the dark one last time she had one with jack-o-lanterns on it and the one before that was just like a regular collar with a bell the same ones that almost everybody has pancake lost his collar though last month too but his had been on for like a few months so I'm not that mad at him like I don't feel like he was trying to get rid of it like something probably happened and it came loose which that's good you know because we don't want him to choke to death uh. okay I'm screening this because it says restricted and I may have to stop for a minute if it does turn out to be somebody important And now, yeah, yeah, I don't answer restricted phone calls, people. I screen them. <laughs> they did, they did actually answer, but it was some weird political thing, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not doing that, um, especially right now. So, back to whatever. I've got a few minutes left. So, yeah, I know I only did one video last week. Things got really busy. It was Halloween week. And I also went to the ER again last week. So, um, it was just... My health was so bad this October. And I really... It hurt me to not be able to do everything that I usually would do. But... I still had, I had such a good weekend this past weekend. It was so good. You see Noki over my shoulder there. <laughs> Taking a bath. Um, it was a really great weekend. I got to see like so many of my friends and I actually like went out. One of my friends was like, um, you can't, you can't, like, keep yourself inside all the time the way you do. And now with winter coming, I'm like, I should get out as much as I can. Because when winter, like, when it starts snowing and stuff, I'm not, I hate leaving the house. Because it gets icy. I have a huge fear of falling down on the ice. Um, I just have a big fear of falling down. Especially with my joints the way they are. So, it's just like feel like I'm an old lady that's like gonna break her hip but that isn't the case it's just when I fall down it's really hard for me to get back up because of the arthritis so I'm just like fear fear falling down and I never I've always kind of had a little a fear of that but now it's like worse with the arthritis so it's just like yeah now I don't I don't generally generally go out in winter very much if I can do something from the inside I will um, I might start ordering my groceries from all these because we have delivery with them now I don't particularly like the price I think I've talked about this before but in the winter I might just do it just to be like because I can't deal with going out um, and at night even when John gets home it's usually dark now and I definitely don't like going out at night it I don't know why I have like a big and I'm a night person I don't mind going outside on the porch at night and, or going somewhere at night but in I don't like being in the car at night I have like this weird fear 
of accidents happening at night. And I don't know why. I've never been in an accident at night. Um, I have been on road trips at night where we have started to swerve or something or, you know, skid on the ice. And that may be what is causing me to feel like that sort of anxiety. But yeah, I get super anxious at stuff like that. I'm just so winter going out just doesn't really happen for me and it's a long winter here so it does kind of suck because our winters usually start November um <laughs> to be honest and they go on until you know April or sometimes to the middle of April or something it depends on the year um and since We've been, we've been having a really mild fall and it's now just starting to get cold enough that I'm like, I got it, you know, next week I need to call about the oil and because right now we just have electric heaters in the rooms, there's no oil in the tank and I haven't wanted to call, I've been wanting to hold off on it as long as possible. So, yeah, there's that. So, tell me about your Halloween or your October month and how you're feeling about it, um, let me know. So I'm gonna take this off now. Do do do. My Tonky Milk mask. Wow, there's a lot of serum on my face right now, which will go in very nicely. So. Wow, that feels nice. That does feel nice. We'll see how my skin feels. But, I mean, these are always, like, super hydrating. That's how I feel. This one says nourish and restore, which I probably need lots of hydration and nourishing because all the makeup I did do during October was a lot of things that were hard to get off and need a tissue because I think something got on my glasses um and such so yeah although I think my hair got the most damage but because I already have psoriatic arthritis which has been making my hair fall out it really sucks um and I don't mind talking about this stuff I'm not going to be dishonest with you guys about it and my daughter's doing something in the beauty room uh, hanging something up, but probably. So, yeah. It's, uh, I see things on my skin I don't like. Uh, <laughs> it's, a. Uh, it was hell on my hair because I did a lot of stuff that, like, I would put a lot of things in my hair. Like, the Gaia, um, look that I did, the green one. I had the moss here. The moss was actually glued down at the edge of my forehead. And then, you know, it kind of just went back into my hair. But the, I also had put some of the green in my hair ahead of time. The green foundation to, so, to give it some greenness into the hair. And so when it all came off... Um, and by the way, I use latex as glue, which instead of the... Um, Spiricum because the Spiricum wasn't working. It wasn't strong enough. So I was like, okay, we're gonna have to do this with latex. Liquid latex. And the liquid latex sucks taking off your face. It just does. Um, and you're supposed to be more careful and not, like, just rip it off. Um, like, there are special things you can use to, like, help with it. And I do have a bottle of stuff but I never use it. I'm always ripping it off my skin. So yeah, my skin has had some damage too. But some of my hair too, like kinda just came out. I also um had some other issues too with uh the look I did, the last look I did after Halloween because I was going to a costume contest. That wig is incredibly heavy. And between the heaviness of it and the fact that I was sweating in the bar, my wig glue, which was right here, holding it down, 
started to like ball up and the wig was like falling back and when it fell back it, like the glue got into my hair and there's still I can feel still a few little bits of it I have washed my hair and everything and it still took let's see it was Saturday night today's Monday and it's still not completely out of my hair um and so that wasn't very good <sighs> I'm just really getting sick of my hair because psoriatic arthritis like when I take a shower like hair comes out and I know hair comes out for everybody but this is a lot of hair that comes out and I'm just I've had polycystic ovarian syndrome my whole life too so I have like thin hair I'm just like so done with hair <laughs> um but I mean what am I gonna do right uh, I would like to just shave it all off like my daughter did and my best friend just recently shaved her head too which is a strange time to shave your head by the way just before winter hits because your head's going to be cold um, but I've been discussing it more and more and I've discussed it for years actually but I've been really more adamant about it the last couple days because I'm really done. So, you guys, if I suddenly have no hair, that's why. Um, but you'll probably see wigs on my head instead because that's probably what I do and hats. Uh, because my head will be cold. But I've really been like seriously thinking about it. So, don't be surprised. Okay. You will anyways. <laughs> You'll be like, oh wow, she really went through with it. If I go through with it. We'll see. I might go through with it right now. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, kitty cats. Love you all. Please share, subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And, you know, always be kind. Even when your hair is falling out. Bye-bye.